Okay, this is Heinrich with Hilti Tools, and he's going to show us a really neat way to hook a ground cable to a metal plate uh, using the Hilti Tools. So here we go. So Bill, I'm going to be wearing gloves for this because uh, some other derivatives get pretty hot. Right. Um, so what I'm going to show you is a very neat system to fasten a, uh, to create a grounding connection to steel. Yeah. Uh, and the solution that we offer has no penetration on the backside. That's if amazing. If you're working on a coated steel beam in corrosive situations, uh, it can save you a lot of time on not having to go back and touch up the paint afterwards. Uh huh. Uh, solution works down to a quarter of an inch and up. Uh, so there is no upper limit, but quarter of an inch is the lowest situation where you don't get any backside damage. Okay. So, how does it work? There are really three way, three steps involved in this. First step will be to drill a pilot hole in the steel. Okay. Uh, secondly, we use a special decoating drill bit that creates a surface for the uh, disc to conduct electricity. And third is the installation of the ground uh, the grounding washer and the and the stud that okay. then allows you to attach a lug and the uh, and the cable to it so okay. let me work through that um, first i use one of our high speed drills to drill into the steel So you can see here that there's a nice shiny ring. That's the indication that the drill, uh, that the drilling has been done uh, fully. Uh -huh. So I'm now gonna swap out uh, and go to our decoder drill bit. The what? The decoder? Decoder drill bit. We call it that because it coats out any paint or galvanization that might interfere with the with the grounding operation. Oh, and ensures I see. That you get okay. proper conductivity from the cable yes. down into uh -huh. the into the base material. To take paint or rust or whatever you got off of it. Exactly. Yeah. So this this little pilot, uh, this little tip here, fits right into the pilot hole and okay. ensures that I get a right. good at connection. Wow. So I'm not Deep. quite done yet. Deep. Decoder. That's Real a decoder. Bit. Yeah. And then I take the ground disc, which has a sealing ring to ensure that no uh, no moisture comes in on top oh, of the surface. So wow. this is fully protected also from the um, to the effects of elements, water. It's also used. There is a hot tube galvanized version, and there is a version in stainless for really uh, difficult, tough conditions. Okay. What I now do, I, I take that disc, one of our studs. I will be using one of our drill drivers with a special depth gauge. Okay. So, stud installs like like so. I'm sorry. That's the stud. The stud now sits very solidly here. Let me see it. Yeah, it's solid, all right. Uh, and as a next step, I'm going to take a spring washer, my cable with a lug that has been pre-crimped, and a nut. And I'm just going to gently torque that down so that the cable sits firmly. I don't want to over torque it because then I can actually torque the stud out from the hole. But Is that a torquing wrench? Yeah. How many so. pounds do you have it set to? So this here is set to six pound feet. Six I'm, Euro pound I'm, Euro feet. I'm European, so I'm not so familiar with this. Right. But six pound feet, it says. Okay. And this now has this now has ensured that I have a strong, good connection with connectivity going all the way from the cable down into the base material. Oh, be darn! Well, thank you very much, Heinrich. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for watching. So those contractors can help meet their 1025.